Hello, and welcome to our session on what it means to be an SRE-driven organization. My name is Paul Nashwadi, and I'm the Practice Lead and Principal Analyst at the Futurum Group. I'm joined by Christian from Flexera. Christian, would you like to introduce yourself and your role? Hi, oh, Paul. Uh, yeah, I run our site reliability engineering org here at Flexera, and uh, we cover a range of activities, including supporting some of our monolithic applications and modern applications as well, but security operations and compliance, just to name a few. Um, we're a diverse group that that works across the broad um, our Flexera teams, be the sales support and product management. So yeah, it's a little bit us. Excellent. And thank you for joining me today. This is great. And you know, from our conversations, we were talking about how Flexera has adopted a site reliability engineering strategy to really help elevate the customer experience and by leveraging Noble 9, right? And by shifting to this new kind of traditional service level agreement uh, or, or SLAs uh, to a more proactive approach. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so look, prior to us implementing SLOs, we were heavily focused on uptime as a as a key measure for our system reliability. And uh, you know, at times this caused us some challenges because our applications may have been available, but from a customer perspective, they uh, they weren't experiencing the level that they expected. So there was some contention between our support teams and uh, uh, and those that were talking to customers who understood that there was some underlying issues, but the engineering teams may not be fully aware. So. The shift to, to focusing on the customer experiences may, really meant that us as a broader organization are now able to really focus on the customer experience in totality when we talk about reliability and not just publishing an uptime report or or something that may measure the, um, the ability to log into a system. We're, we're far more granular now. Yeah, I'm hearing the same thing when I, I talk to uh, organizations that have moved from SLAs to SLOs. They really are trying to get that kind of everybody moving towards that common North Star, right? Everyone rowing in the same direction to to understand where their organization is driving to and, and really providing that overall customer experience. But can you explain a little bit about from the Flexera's perspective, why SLAs were not good enough? Why did what didn't it tell you when you that you could have you, that you're getting with the SLOs? Yeah, so in my experience, I found that SLAs to be a very broad metrics that cover something over a long period of time. And generally, this is this is uptime. And uh, it doesn't really help an engineering or support function truly understand how an application is performing. Uh, but most importantly, they don't tell you whether or not you're actually delivering a good service to your customers. So, um, And also, SLAs are, are very much retrospective. And so you're unable to really be proactive or truly understand how your application is performing in the moment. Um, but ultimately, you're not really looking at the, the behavior of the system through the user's eyes, whereas you know, an SLO is far more proactive and you're able to really see what's happening in the moment at a far more granular level. Yeah, that absolutely makes sense. And you know, when I think about this and I talk to other organizations, um, how did it help you uh, with strategic decision makings and how have executives responded to the shift to SLOs? Yeah, so we're, we're now able to clearly see what products or more importantly, what components of those products are in need of attention. And, and in doing so, we have some, uh, we have a data-based approach when discussing priorities with product management and uh, are therefore able to see, um, you know, when we need to stop focusing on new feature work and shift our focus to reliability. Uh, but on top of that, we can easily see the impacts of changes we've made. And when we adopt new technologies or make some system improvements, you know, we have some clear data sets that enable us to quantify the impacts of those changes in terms of customer experience. You know, are we delivering a better experience to the customer and uh, do we need to further uplift as well? So um, we're, as I said before, we're, we're able to really fine tune and focus on the customer experience. Christian, this is great information and I know it's just the tip of the iceberg. For the audience, if you're looking for additional information around this, uh, take a look at how Noble9 and Flexera articulates the strategy by their customer testimonial on the website or the SLO conf presentation that's available as well as the paper that supports this information as well. Christian, I wanna thank you for your time and I wanna thank the audience for watching our session today. Thank you.